welcome today we are going to study what we call the oil oil drop experiment this is a session of session of measurement 2 in book 2 of physics the oil drop experiment oil drop experiment the oil drop experiment so in these experiments uh, the aim of this experiment is to estimate the a molecule of oil it is very difficult to measure or to literally measure the diameter of one molecule of oil therefore what is done here uh, we usually have a tray a tray a tray in this experiment such that the tray is filled with water then inside the water we can have uh, two plugs of wood like this in which in which a powder called lycopodium is sprinkled Therefore, we got water in the other areas, water. Then here, we have water sprinkled. Water sprinkled with lycopodium. Lycopodium powder. Therefore, lycopodium powder is sprinkled on water within these planks of wood. This one we are calling a tray filled with water. A tray with water. Then now, we get a drop of oil, which of course is having molecules. And we drop it here. We drop it here. We drop it here. Therefore, the drop is always spherical. The drop is always spherical. So some of the assumptions made for this experiment is that one top is a perfect sphere the drop is a perfect sphere originally then once you drop it on the oil patch it spreads into a perfect circular patch spreads on a perfect circular patch so the drop Spreads into a circular patch of one molecule thick. Of one molecule thick. Therefore, we assume once you place the drop on the lycopodium powder, it takes time to spread. It takes time to spread, and as it is spread. It is spread such that there is no molecule which is above another. Therefore, now it becomes cylindrical because it was now spherical, but it spreads to a circular patch such that on this circular patch it is forming a cylindrical shape because already the top is circular. This thickness of the circular part is equal to the thickness of one molecule because there is no molecule which is above another then we say that the thickness of the patch is one molecule it is one molecule thick now because the drop of the complete oil drop could be measured the diameter of the complete oil drop could be measured then now we relate the volume of the complete oil drop before it is spread with the volume of the circular patch which has spread to a circular top having a one molecule and this is how we go about it we see that volume of oil drop is equal to volume of the patch through which it is spread the patch through which it is spread Therefore, because volume of oil drop equals to volume of the oil patch, then it is very important to note this, very important to note this, that originally, 
uh, the molecule or the oil drop was spherical. So the formula is given by 4 out of 3 pi r cubes. Radius here is radius of the complete oil drop, which is having many molecules. But now when it spreads, it becomes cylindrical, such that the formula for getting the volume of this patch is the top area, which is circular, so pi r squared times height, which is the thickness here, times height, which is now thickness of the oil drop, where T is the thickness, the thickness or the size of the molecule. So because it has spread, because it has spread and it is a molecule thick, then the thickness here will be of one molecule. And in such an experiment, the thickness of the molecule can be gotten because we can measure the diameter of this patch or the radius of that matter. So the radius of the patch can be determined, which means we can say the area pi r squared times the thickness, which is the thickness of one molecule, will give us the volume of the bigger oil drop, which was spherical before it is spread. Uh, just to mention a few things, in the experiment, the lycopodium powder has some rolls, and one is to break the surface tension of this oil drop. Once the oil drop is coming, remember it is spherical until it lands on the lycopodium powder. Why is it spherical? Because there is high surface tension. Once it lands on the, uh, on the powder, the surface tension is broken and it can now move or spread freely. Again, as it spreads, remember it is displacing the lycopodium powder, which is spread all over. Therefore, the lycopodium powder again can be used to measure the extent of the extent of spreading. So the much the, the drop is going to spread can be determined by checking how the lycopodium powder has been displaced. Because as it, as it spreads, it is going to displace lycopodium powder at a given area. Therefore, that is how by considering how the lycopodium powder has been displaced, then we can get radius of the patch which gets formed. So that is how we determine the size of an oil drop. We can meet in the next session for an example. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you.